I think I'm convinced that she stalked him online, fell in love with him online, because she said that. Right, she did, I think, yeah. I think that's what happened, is she created a fantasy in her head, he walked out of the limo and she goes, check. Have you been watching this season of The Bachelorette at all? I am, and I'm so glad we're finally on to Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I am. I, I was so excited about Claire. I, mm -hmm. I was one of the ones going, I think she's a great pick. I love that she's older. I love that she's outspoken. Um, I think it's going to be a different feel of The Bachelorette. And by golly, was it a different feel. <laughs> it like, really it was. Just, an episode in, I went, all right, well, now I'm over it. Now it's, you know, I, I, I almost wanted her to come out and say, all right, I've been, I stalked Dale. I've been talking to him. I really like him. Cause then we'd go, I get it. Get Happy it. for yeah. you. No worries. We're not judging. Um, it was hard to watch Claire towards the end, you know, and the way that she was kind of treating the guys and mm -hmm. um, why you didn't understand. Cause I'm her age, like we're the same right. age. And I'm like, I would never just randomly look at a guy and be like, that's my husband. Yeah. That's it. I'd be like, there are a lot of things I need to figure out. He may have kids at home. I should know that, right? Like, I, <laughs> so, you, uh, so you are totally convinced that they talked before this? No, I'm not. I it's think not. I I think I'm convinced that she stalked him online, fell in love with him online, because she said that. Right, she did, I think, yeah. I think that's what happened. Is she created a fantasy in her head. He walked out of the limo and she goes, check. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I think every time we see Dale, he's like, okay, all right. Oh, kids, we're having kids. Hi. We're I mean, he looks totally shell-shocked every time that you see him. <laughs> he does. I mean, do you think that they're going to, I mean, obviously you can't predict right. and you don't know what's going to happen in the future, but do you think like this recipe for love and how it all kind of started, do you think that they're going to last? Oh, this is going to sound really negative. I don't think they're going to last because I don't think they have the foundation yeah. You know, um, at least we haven't seen it. We haven't seen the deep, intimate talks and the, and you know, there is a big difference between a 39 year old woman and a 31 year old guy, you That's know? And true. he is now in the spotlight, this really attractive 30 year old. And does, does he want to get married next year and have kids? Maybe, maybe, mm -hmm. but he may also kind of get a taste of what Bachelor Nation can do to somebody and then say, you know what? I don't want to be tied down right now and I want to experience all of this. So, I mean, the pessimist in me is saying it's probably not going to work out. Mm -hmm. The romantic though is like, God, maybe. maybe. I mean, for Claire's sake, we all want it to work out because heaven forbid it doesn't, right? <laughs> Seriously. And then what do you think of Tasha so far? I mean, I think she's doing a great job. I mean, obviously now it's all about the guys and the drama and things like that, but it seems like she's holding her own. She's doing a great, a great job. I think Tasha walked into a great situation because we were all looking for a little change after Claire yeah. and Dale. And I think she was the perfect energy. Like she just came in, she seems happy to be there. She's giving all the guys a fair shot. It's like we're actually watching The Bachelorette again. Yeah. Which it didn't necessarily feel like at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It is weird to me. I'm like, I think we're five five weeks into this show and I still don't know who half the guys are, which is so I'm weird. No <laughs> Cause usually we're like, I've got my favorites and I'm going, I don't know, what's his name? I don't remember. But. Tasha as a bachelorette, I think she's great. I think she's yeah. really fun to watch. She's easy to watch and I really like her. Did I know you said earlier that you didn't watch back your season, but did you watch any of the episodes when the greatest of all time aired or do you still still know? And there's no point at this, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, I lived it, I was there and the little clips I see and even when I see pictures, it doesn't look like me. It's like, it, <laughs> it's like a totally different person and it was a totally different phase of life that I I don't know. I feel like it would make me sad to go back and and yeah. watch that little girl go through all of that again. No, definitely. I'm sure, like you said, it feels like it's somebody like a totally yeah. different person. Like you're watching almost a stranger. And you said that the Bachelor changed you yeah. a lot. I mean, how so? Um, I always say I feel like I went into the Bachelor damaged. You mm -hmm. know, I had had a seven year relationship that went really sour and obviously I was dating Ty before The Bachelor for right. about two years mm -hmm. and that ended and I just I was I was broken you know I kind of I had very low self-esteem I didn't feel like I was worthy of a guy's love meanwhile keep in mind I was 23 like I wish right. somebody would have been like yeah you were 23 mm -hmm. but me middle America I was like but I don't have my husband yet or my <laughs> wife making fits I'm so behind and going through everything I did on The Bachelor and then having to internalize it you know because once I got engaged and left, I couldn't tell anybody when I came back home because you're under contract that I was scared to death that somebody would find out. And so 
you have all these emotions that you're just bottling up and figuring out, okay, I'm happy I'm engaged. Oh wait, nope, now I've been dumped on national television and I'm going through a breakup and I have nobody to talk to about it. Yeah. And I think it does just kind of build you up. And then with Dancing with the Stars right around the corner and seeing how many people were rooting for me, definitely was the confidence booster that I needed to kind of change my perception on you know, who I was and what I had to offer and just about myself. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, I've always wanted to ask, were you pissed at producers after that, after the final rose moment? Like, were you, did, like, you have a bad taste in your mouth about The Bachelor for years after that, because I probably would have. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they tried really hard to get me to be Bachelorette. I mean, it was yeah. a couple months that they were calling and calling and upping the money and here's gifts and this. And I was like, you guys don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> you just ambushed me. Mm -hmm. You ambushed me. And everybody knew what was going on except me. And I get that it's a show. I, I understand that. However, now that I understand it's a show, I would be stupid mm -hmm. for going back out and allowing you sure. to do that to me again. Um, however, once you move on, you know, and I grew up and I matured, I was like, I mean, I get it. They did. Mm -hmm. They had a TV show to make. If if. Jason had told me what he was going to do before he did, they wouldn't have gotten a reaction. massive reaction. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, yeah, I was really upset at the time, but it's, you know. Yeah. It's, it's showbiz, right? Yeah. <laughs>